Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here on this final day of September with this morning mountain weather update. So we're going to look out into the first week of October and see what we've got with this, uh, this forecast pattern and what's interesting. So we'll go right to water vapor satellite imagery here this morning. And on this, the colors, the oranges and the reds represent drier air aloft and your moistures and your whites and your blues and the storm track is easy to pick out. It's right here. So whatever moisture is upstream, and I'll use the green to show this, is just being escorted through Alaska, BC, the Northwest Territories, and that's where it's staying. That's where it's bottled up. Uh, for the lower 48, what we're looking at is mainly high pressure, and so we'll draw that in. And that is, that means just everything's just sort of running up and around this area of high pressure and then down into the Midwest. And this is keeping the West high and dry. This is a climb high forecast, and I'll explain what that means here. In, in just a second, but here are my bullet points for this update, and it's very similar to what we talked about yesterday. The storm track favoring BC, uh, most of Canada, uh, with the interior rain snow line in BC running at about 7,000 feet. So you got to be there or higher to really get the best accumulation, and there is going to be snow, and I'll show you that coming up. Uh, across the lower 48, the Intermountain West, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, California, Nevada, New Mexico, uh, most of Idaho, there's just nothing there. It's this king area of high pressure. It's going to be tough to bust, bust that thing up over the next seven to nine days. So that's going to take us through probably 10 nine. All right, now I've been showing you this relative humidity forecast through the atmosphere, the vertical slice of the atmosphere. This is for Red Mountain Pass in the southwest corner of Colorado and the San Juans, but representative of so many places. Southern mountains, the central mountains of Colorado, the northern mountains, the Wasatch, the High Uintas, the Tetons, all of the Sierra, all these places are going to be dominated by the dry air. And the dry air represented on this is your, are your yellows and your oranges. And that is through all layers of the atmosphere. There's no moisture transport happening right here. So a climb high forecast, any of these days over the next seven days are good days to be climbing at higher elevations in Colorado, in Utah, in Wyoming with this type of forecast. Here's the jet stream. So by uh, close of business today, um, it's running in the same place. And I'm going to put this into motion. And again, everything's just being escorted up into Canada with this type of pattern. And there's your next storm system that affects BC through 10.4, 10.5. Here's the pattern on 10.6, 10.7, and 10.8. High pressure, lower 48. And again, everything is bottled up to the north of that jet stream. So it's the same. Nothing really changes. All right, here is the forecast radar and satellite. By 5.30 today, you can see the rain and the snow up in BC, high and dry, lower 48. All right, by Tuesday, there's Wednesday, Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, another storm running up through BC. Here comes Thursday, the next storm hits BC. And that one kind of brushes uh, Washington State. And 10 6, 10 6 in the afternoon, there's 10 7, another storm system hitting BC running up and through, and there's 10-9 by the end of uh, the day on 10-9. So not, a, not an ounce of precip for the lower 48 across Wyoming, Colorado, Utah, California, New Mexico, Nevada. Very dry in most of those places. All right, forecast snowfall. It's, it's the same place as we mentioned yesterday that I was talking about up there in B.C., uh, and there is going to be accumulation up there. Now, in the lower 48, it's just dry. I don't have any snow accumulation. Let me zoom in on that map. And there's going to be several inches of accumulation up here above 7,000 feet on the highest peaks of uh, parts of British Columbia, uh, all the way up through the northern latitudes of BC. Uh, but again, you got to be above 7,000 to really get in on that action. You know, really the story is the dry air, this high pressure um, through all of the levels of the atmosphere across most of the Intermountain West. Again, that's going to take us through probably 10-7, 10-8, and 10 9. Guys, thanks for tuning in here to this, uh, this mountain weather update on this final day of September. Appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.